Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final unit, unit four of I and S. So this unit is going to be, I, I usually look at this unit and say that it is somewhat a reflection of the first unit that we've taken and how you've actually grown to understand what do we mean by global issues and how can we promote fairness and development? So this unit is going to be a reflection of what do we mean by fairness and development? How can we be global citizens and what is expected out of us as global citizens? So our key concept is going to be systems, how systems help and contribute to fairness and development across the world. A related concept is going to be resources and equity. We're going to discuss here what do we mean by poverty, different forms of poverty, what is needed in order to combat this issue. Our global context is going to be fairness and development on our exploration is going to be imagining a hopeful future. We're going to look at the term here, sustainability, and what do we mean by sustainability? So this unit is going to be very interesting. It's a very close to the one that we did for the first unit, but not exactly. What's going to be a trick here for this unit is we're going to integrate two books. Remember a social studies book that we've taken at the beginning of the year? We're going to refer to unit four from it and embed it within our I and S book and find a relationship between these units. So moving on, our SOI is going to be the following. In the pursuit of a hopeful future, we investigated the dynamics of resources, allocation, equality, and fairness to cultivate systems that propel sustainable development and uphold equitable opportunities for all. Okay, so we're going to look at this, TS, uh, this SOI and try to determine our requirements for this unit. Our unit is going to be very fun. We're going to look at criterion A, B, and C. However, listen carefully to what I'm going to say. Our A4 assessment is going to be criterion B and C, investigating and communicating. So you're going to create perhaps a PowerPoint, a report, whatever the requirement is. And our E2 is going to be knowing and understanding. So you're going to reflect your understanding of what you created for B and C in relation to the content that will be discussed for the INS book and the social studies. Our ATL, thinking transfer, you're going to inquire in different contexts to gain a, better, a different perspective. Don't forget we're looking at two different books, two different contexts, and have a better perspective regarding the topic in question. Social collaboration, you're going to work together in a group to make fair and equitable decisions, perhaps finding smart solutions to completely eradicate an issue. Notice that I'm focusing or I'm stressing on some terms. We can consider these terms as vocabulary words, okay? So we're going to look at art. One aspect is going to be art, where you're going to do a PowerPoint presentation and reflect your ability um, and your creativity through posters and art in general. Second thing is psychology. One thing that's very important is we're going to talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs and investigate who Maslow is and how is he, how is this related to psychology? How is our unit, fairness and development, related to someone's well-being? So this question will be answered by you all. Okay, so this video will highlight our main focus for the assessment, sorry. Um, make sure you review what the different types of poverty, how we can solve it and go through the product and the TSR. If you have any questions regarding this unit or concerns, don't hesitate and send me an email or you may ask me face to face.